Well, you're ready for the monumental. We've got a lot of people coming in. Yeah, and it's going to be what seems like kind of good weather for I that think at least so. to start, right? Yeah, I think it will before we uh, before we get the rain coming in this afternoon. And speaking of rain, right here on Channel 13, Notre Dame plays today. Matt, this is a huge game. Notre Dame ranked number three. Play Wake Forest. And again, our coverage begins at 3.30, live from Notre Dame here on Channel 13. And there is a chance for rain the entire game up in South Bend. But what about here in the central part of the state? No rain now. Cloud cover is beginning to move in. Look at this line of rain. Milwaukee over towards Peoria. And there are some thunderstorms associated with this. The air behind it is so cold that we have snow this morning. Uh, this would be north of Madison, Wausau, Green Bay, Escanaba, Michigan. Okay. Here, we're all right. As you look live at downtown uh, the Monument, where we're expecting a big crowd in a couple of hours as we get started on Indy's Monumental Marathon, 45 degrees. Winds out of the east at 11 miles per hour, so it is really mild out there right now. I think we're going to stay cloudy all day, and underneath those clouds, some rain is going to fall. In fact, uh, we have a real diverse situation as far as temperatures are concerned. A really warm air is pushing up from the south. So right now in Nashville, Tennessee, it's 64. We're at 45. And I think we're going to stay cool today, but we could hit 70 degrees tomorrow. Now for the marathon, here we go with temperatures 48 by 9 a.m., 55 by 1. And we keep it dry I'm sure about this until we get to the noon hour, then all bets are off. There will be some moisture in the atmosphere. If you're raking your leaves today, I would say do it this morning. In fact, when I get home from the station today, I'm mowing immediately uh, because of that rain that we're expecting later today with highs in the 60s. Uh, of course, we have IU and Purdue playing. More on them in the next half hour. We're glad to have the Indy Fuel back in town. They'll take on the evil Wheeling Nailers. And if you hear some Barks, you think, where's that coming from? It's probably from the Coliseum tonight, Pups and Paws night, as people bring their dogs to the game. Well, let's get serious now, talking about tomorrow. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center, Norman, Oklahoma, has us under a moderate risk for severe weather on a scale of one to five. That's a three. And I think the biggest threats tomorrow will be heavy rain, lightning, gusty winds, and yes, the possibility of isolated tornadoes. Now, here we are this afternoon at 2.30, spotty showers. That would include for the IU game and Purdue game. I think the chances of getting wet are better at the Purdue game than the IU game. This is 8 o'clock tonight. We pretty much start to clear things out. But then this wave of rain ahead of a front that's still well off in Illinois come in. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning with some scattered showers. We'll dry it out until about 2.30. Then rain moves in. And take a look at this vicious line of storms. I mean, we could see squall lines here, heavy downpours of rain, strong gusty winds. This is 6.30 tomorrow night. Let's take you to 9.30, and that's when this really starts crashing through the metro area. Again, we could have severe weather at this time. I do think that by 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow night, this will be out of here. But here's the forecast for today, 62, 55 tonight, 70 on Sunday, Monday, 55. And man, how about this? Tuesday through Friday, we go from 70 on Sunday to the 40s. Tuesday through Friday. More on IU and Purdue in a few minutes, Matt. Shorts to sweaters. All you right, got. Chuck, thanks.